very good afternoon to all of you so i welcome you all on the sixth and the final day of our digital marketing certification program thank you for all of your persistence and perseverance to be here for all these days and uh, actively participate in the program in the assessment and also in the question paper which i had given to you and uh, you are supposed to submit the answer for that through email i got most i think still maybe no very very few students are left so it does not matter you can give it in next uh, two days time you can send to me through email okay so thank you once again uh, it's wonderful experience interacting with you for last uh, no five days and today is the sixth day and we are left with uh, three topics so hopefully uh, no we'll discuss all the three topics these are not uh, big one the first one is affiliate marketing then we have the content writing which is the heart and soul of digital marketing and the technical writing technical writing is connected with the content writing that is used in case of technical product okay specification advertisement you need to know the technical details and the technical insight for the particular product so that you can give correct description of that i will take it up okay and uh, okay let's start uh, today's session so we'll start with uh, affiliate marketing right so affiliate marketing is very popular because of e-commerce is it not because of e-commerce affiliate marketing is very very popular nowadays and there are many experts those who are in affiliate marketing they enroll themselves as a publisher as an affiliator okay and they sell the products through blog their website and other platform okay and it is very easy anyone can become you know an affiliate marketer you can register with amazon flipkart or any other e-commerce site they have exclusive you no know, affiliate programs wherein you can register with your details and uh, you can start publishing their product you no know, in your network whether you have a very popular blog you have your own websites and other platform and you can earn money the revenue whatever you get that also very nicely explained in amazon flipkart and by other retailers what are the incentives commissions to be given it varies per product is it not for fmcg something and consumer durable something it varies so we will try to look into it know how affiliate marketing it works out and uh, i'm sure that all of you must be aware of that but let us uh, know go uh, in a very structured way okay that's very important that's the whole purpose of any training program no uh, we should go in a very structured way and try to understand the basics of each concept then always we can develop by ourselves okay anything and everything cannot be no completed in a given time frame but always we can develop like you are doing your mba program right in two years of time it's not possible to learn and uh, no practice everything whatever you study so actual learning happens once you join the corporate you apply your learning whatever you have learned okay apply those concepts then there will be a lot of errors a lot of learning or mistakes will be there you can learn from that and then you can develop if your fundamental and no concepts are clear during your two years of mba program then it becomes very easy for you to connect with all those learnings to your corporate practices and you can always build it up okay so with this small note let us proceed with the today's topic affiliate marketing so i'll just share the ppt okay here it goes the affiliate marketing the today's first topic so let us discuss on this and uh, if you have any questions always you can stop me you can ask and interact or you can add on your views also 
on the subject okay anyway you all are most welcome so let us go in a very structured way what is affiliate marketing in digital marketing parlance affiliate marketing is an online marketing advertising channel that puts merchants in charge of an online marketing sales force like if you become an affiliate with some retailer then you will work as a you know sales force and retailers they have dedicated program for affiliate marketing so that they can reach out to the maximum people they alone themselves can't do with their advertisement to reach out to the maximum people that's why these you no know, affiliate programs are designed in such a way to ensure maximum you no know, publicity and maximum reach merchants look to earn revenue from sale of their products or services pay affiliates now affiliates are known as publishers because if we join the affiliate program we will become the publishers who want to earn revenue from placement of product banners or text link on their site so product banners whatever banners those merchant will provide to us or the link they will provide to us we can integrate in our website if you have any dedicated website or you can put in our blog if you have a popular blog wherein we get you no know, good traffic so chances are there that people will click those and purchase so whenever anyone makes a purchase through those blogs and websites automatically the details that the f the merchant they get that okay through this person through this particular you no know, blog and websites okay this product is sold or the lead has come okay so merchants only pay affiliate partners for results such as a lead or a purchase pay for performance right so if it there is a solid lead not just that people they come and they view your blog and website okay so there may not be any payment so pay for performance if there is any conversion any purchase is there or there is a solid lead future purchase may happen then you can get the revenue out of it or the commission sales commission okay whatever name you call it you can get it allows merchant to effectively expand reach and brand marketing while at the same time managing marketing return on investment that's what i said through affiliate programs the merchant open up okay its market to the maximum number of people and also ensure the marketing return on investment affiliate marketing is known no in many names such as associate program internet affiliate marketing direct marketing performance marketing partner marketing pay per performance marketing or referral program so it is called in so many different names who are the key players there are four key players in any affiliate program the affiliate like if we become the affiliate okay publishers of any product advertisement okay in our blog and website then merchant okay the advertiser who advertise it okay then comes the affiliate network okay which network we publish the product then outsource program managers there are many people dedicated people who manage all these you no know, affiliate programs so there are four key players in any affiliate program number one is the affiliate the publisher who publishes okay the different kind of product announcement okay for affiliation yes these are the products which can be published then comes the merchant the advertiser okay then the affiliate network then the outsource program managers who are the key players an affiliate is a website which contains links that connect consumers to a merchant's website for the purpose of making an e-commerce transaction now in case of you no know, suppose flipkart and amazon okay the merchants are flipkarts and amazons right and affiliates are publishers or partners like you and i anyone can become affiliates 
then blogs or forums different blogs or forums it can be published and online marketing sales for some people can dedicatedly work in this particular area dedicated online marketing sales force so an affiliate is a website which contains links that connect consumers to a merchant's website for the purpose of making an e-commerce transaction like if i take you no know, affiliate program join the affiliate program from amazon then i can take any particular link or banner and i can put it on my blog okay and from that blog if anyone visit my blog and clicks that and purchase something so i'll get the commission whatever it differs okay the commission and the okay all those stuffs are very clearly mentioned out there in the affiliate program so affiliates are publishers or partners like you and i people blogs or forums and an online marketing sales force types of affiliate sites okay shopping sites are virtual malls the consumer shops for various brands and products on site these sites are not driven by particular coupon or deal offer coupon or deal most popular affiliate model these sites are shopping sites that require merchant to provide consumer with either a coupon percent of savings or free shipping offer you get a lot of coupon sites like whenever you want to place a order you no know, in swiggy and zomato you type coupon for swiggy zomato or coupon for paytm and a lot of uh, you no know, this kind of you no know, affiliate model websites which exclusively deal with coupon and deal coupon and deal okay we get those you no know, uh, link and then they try to you no know, uh, keywords try to paste it you no know, in that um, you no know, whatever uh, the uh, sites we are using whether it's zomato swiggy or paytm okay so that also is there then comparison shopping sites sell items using a comparison model these sites usually require a data feed of merchants products loyalty rewards sites where a percent of the merchants commission is used to pay reward to consumer allows consumer to select their reward option reward can include cash airline miles credit card points donation to charity or organization types of affiliate sites content sites are usually not shopping sites consumer go to site because the content is of particular interest that's what i said when we were discussing about the blog if your blog the content is very very popular then a lot of people can come to read you know your content and there is a possibility that you can you now promote you know the affiliated program to this products and services search affiliate promotes merchants via google search engine or any other search engine using either natural or paid search practices blogs or forums site post or feature article that focus on a particular product or merchant and include an product affiliate link of the product what is an affiliate network an affiliate network is a third party that acts as liaison between affiliates and the merchants that's what i said the merchants are the e-tailers and affiliates those who enroll into the affiliate marketing program offered by these merchants okay and allows affiliates to find merchants which are suitable for their site allows merchants to find affiliate sites that expand reach to the target audience services include tracking technology reporting tools payment aggregation and processing provide a creative bank or repository for sorting for storing and accessing creative assets it's no, it is no cost for an affiliate join just so that's the beautiful part to join the affiliate program you need not make any form payment okay so these are free services you can try or i am sure that some of you must have already joined the affiliate program in some of the top uh, no e-tailers okay so with the top top e-tailers but if not you can try out okay you need not make any payment just to, for your understanding you can join the affiliate program how does it work the affiliate program affiliate obtains merchant creative from affiliate network and loads to their site that's what i said whatever banner or link will be provided by the merchant those things you have to load into your site consumer visits affiliate site and click merchant banner cookie is set on consumer browser which identifies merchant affiliate and link consumer is directed to merchant site affiliate id is captured by the merchant in referring 
no uniform resource locator url consumer makes purchase from merchant cookie information sent to affiliate network merchant transmits sales file to affiliate network which includes affiliate id affiliate network tracks sales transaction with affiliate id and pays affiliate see very simple okay very simple and nothing is missed out okay if you join the affiliate program and if some sales happen through your website or through your blog for any merchants product and service okay through your id then automatically there is no chance that okay you will miss out the commission okay or the payout whatever no is decided these all are when you go to you no know, amazon affiliates you no know, program you will find out the percentage and what is the money is given to the affiliate okay to the affiliate so this is um, affiliate marketing and uh, you all of you can just uh, you know browse through amazon affiliate program or flipkart or some other affiliate program and you can try to just no uh, register with that because this these are free of cost so you, for your understanding on the subject you can do and if some of you are serious you have your blog or personal website you can try to you know use this program and see that whether you can really uh, you no know, can create some revenue for you or not so fundamentally the affiliate program is there will be a merchant there will be an affiliate and merchants are the retailers okay e-commerce you know uh, uh, players and affiliates are the publishers those who publish okay the advertisement into their blogs and the into their websites okay and uh, how uh, the sales uh, commission you get or how the payout you get that's also very simple and uh, everything is uh, you no know, very very uh, crystal clear and there is uh, no question of okay any ambiguity in the affiliate program uh, i have uh, my uh, no uh, registered uh, login in uh, amazon and flipkart affiliate program okay i tried initially okay but i stopped because of business okay a lot of other works okay very difficult uh, a long time back i used to have one blog also i tried out there but uh, now okay the, the, the because of uh, no no time because just i wanted to understand how it works and that was the motivation uh, okay for me to join this but there are many uh, no very very smart and experienced okay experts in affiliate marketing those who makes good revenue out of it so you can also look at it and you can also try it out and join the affiliate program and see how it works out so once you join you will automatically get to know because everything is mentioned out there step by step and uh, if you have any blog or if you have your website you can explore okay yeah, if it is possible to explore uh, the affiliate programs some of the retailers and see how it works out nothing wrong in that okay you will get knowledge you will get, uh, develop expertise in these affiliate programs so uh, that's the first one very briefly about the affiliate program now next go to the next uh, no topic for today's okay so uh, this is the next topic the content writing the basics of content writing because content is very very important okay in digital marketing space how you develop the content because that ensure okay the productive engagement with the people okay so content writing is very very important part in digital marketing okay so there is you no know, like learn or learn there is uh, you no know, uh, the development progress discover learn and unlearn this is just a cycle of uh, you no know, uh, this content writing because uh, we we knew when we post something for the first time uh, see first of all we need to develop okay any particular content then we have to see how it uh, you no know, uh, how it is received by the uh, people or the audience okay who interact with us and then we need to discover whether any further improvement is required or not then unlearn unlearn this is a kind of cycle continuous process of content development okay and uh, see the content uh, writing how exactly you uh, uh, know we should look at it and uh, communication and through words okay communication through words 
okay because uh, in the content in social media platform uh, how do you uh, communicate through words okay content writing and speech see how these two things are different content writing and speech both are not similar content writing is one way communication that's why it is a little bit challenging because uh, no uh, and speech and dialogue two way communications okay immediately we get to know about the other person's okay uh, mindset their feelings and understanding on the subject but here until unless someone you know express okay there is very difficult okay uh, content writing is instructive okay and speech goes with the flow and content writing has a flow of thought speech and dialogue very random and unorganized okay so there are some of the difference the pillars of content writing the pillars of content writing number one is your editorial okay editorial then tone and style creativity client brief okay these are four different kinds of you no know, uh, uh, pillars for any effective content writing the tone and style professional corporate like creativity flowery content client brief level of vocabulary used target audience when you are writing content to any particular target audience you know them then your communication should be very very specific okay very very specific to the point and the focused understanding creativity corporate or professional writing like website content writing creativity with jargons and not adjectives starting facts then fluff creativity with presentation then words then example like creativity like if you are given any presentation student seminar for the class then you can become highly creative in that okay you can use a lot of graphs okay a lot of uh, small videos and uh, some pictures to make your presentation more attractive so in content writing creativity how creatively you can you know express i think that's very very understand that very very important then article writing creative in the beginning engaging rather than mundane keeping it interactive unique fresh versus okay try usage of quotation and molding them example adding value to content how you can add value to any of the contents make your content distinctive research is the key movement of content simple to complex usage of headings and pointers usage of jargons whenever you write any content for any digital marketing okay but content i said content is very very important okay uh, that's uh, the, uh, the that's the pillar for digital marketing so your content should be and it's expressed in words it's one way communications that's what is more difficult so you need to little bit of research okay about how to do it, it and make it simple to complex okay and they use headings and pointers usage of jargon some of the you no know, uh, uh, jargons you use uh, shashi tharoor okay is very popular for using jargons okay and uh, everyone refers to it and uh, twitter that becomes a trend okay so uh, read absorb and write okay home uh, like uh, hone your skills how you can develop your skills read absorb understand then write so these are just simple some of the steps like in communications what to read book on common errors business magazines articles stories website content like once you want to develop a good content so you should have good knowledge right if it is in english so english subject you should have good knowledge you should read lot of books okay and business magazine article stories so that your vocabulary increases you get the flow you develop the idea also to putting your thoughts on the paper is it not some contents are killer content means that becomes viral okay viral killer content that becomes viral content you will get some of the people they post their content on linkedin and it becomes so popular millions of likes they get and it is reshared by the people so that person create an aura around him okay and he or she becomes a thought leader and uh, if it is about a particular company's product then the product gets very strong visibility is it not creating killer content how you can create a very good content a strong beginning okay 
make the content persuasive informative thought provoking engaging breaking of content insightful content okay so once you start doing it then you can develop it creating killer content strong beginning breaking of content each subset of information comes in one paragraph insightful content Again, insightful content means informative, value added, opinion added, personalized, and well researched. Optimize your skills. How you can optimize your skills? Work within your limits, using the right words at the right place, edit your text, understand the subject, theme, and business. Take complete ownership of your project. That's very important. You are not writers, but communicators. Okay, so this, this point you must understand. You are not writers, you are communicators. So you, at the same time, your content should be very smooth. It should start from simple, then go to complex, use some jargon, okay? And uh, make it very insightful, persuasive, so that you know, the target audience, they engage with your content, they read it. Because your purpose is to communicate with them and engage the people okay so that so that what happens they get no uh, most likely to uh, no get connected with your uh, with you as an individual and with your company and your company's product and service gets maximum awareness okay that's very important so actually this content writing okay the what we are talking about it's about communication it's about written communication is it not content writing written communications sometimes we have the podcast okay wherein it is audio communications podcast once it was very popular now also you know uh, many podcasts are there wherein you can only listen to the speech then comes your video content also it's possible is it not video content with small small micro videos okay the language they communicate the picture they use or the people they use to pass the message that's also very very okay another kind of uh, you know video content okay but basically fundamentally when we're talking about content writing here in this context we're talking about the written content okay anything to write about a company's product services okay about some uh, you know uh, success stories of your companies or any product new product launched by your company okay your company got some award and appreciation okay or you, you your company uh, no uh, given dividends okay or hike salaries during this pandemic okay so you have to develop one content and uh, you no know, put it on the website social media and all the stuff all those areas so there in content becomes you know the, how the content would be how it should be developed and uh, so that it becomes you no know, uh, productive and uh, people those who read it you know they uh, they understand yes this company is doing well this company is giving dividend okay increasing salaries and their product is so likewise no it, it gets uh, uh, very strong branding your company gets very strong branding and reach out to the maximum people create strong awareness about the company's product and services so that's about the content writing but content writing is fundamental to digital marketing because digital marketing wherever you promote whether it is social media marketing whether it is you no know, uh, in any blog okay or whatever you want to do it or you want to uh, know uh, uh, showcase your company through your website there also you need to develop the content for your website is it not and that content has to be very very good some of the you know, no uh, uh, websites you visit you will find out there is no content and if there is no grammatical errors or there is uh, no that flow is not there in the content simple someone has written something and you no know, uploaded uh, in the website so in that case you know uh, it does not become very very you know attractive for the people so content whether it is for the social media purpose or therefore it's for a blog whether it's for a video content audio content podcast or content for the website your company's website you have to be very very careful and you have to be very very creative use some illustration use some heading subheading some good format that should be easy flow of no uh, thoughts okay all those stuffs you need to ensure so that it becomes very focused very target oriented very catchy attractive at the same time you communicate rightly to the people 
those who read it okay so that's very very important so affiliate marketing is very powerful then you have the content writing and the last one you have the technical writing now what is technical writing uh, so uh, let us just uh, uh, know show you the ppt on uh, technical writing and uh, once again uh, no it's not uh, it's a very simple ppt okay uh, let me share you the technical writing ppt and technical communications technical writing technical communications and for what communications for any technical product and services okay now uh, for technical writing definition technical writing is the presentation of information that helps the reader to solve a particular problem technical writing is used in proposals manuals web pages lab reports newsletters and many other kinds of professional documents technical writing is used to communicate information to management employee and other businesses technical writing can be considered the conduit between people who know technology and those who use it that means regarding any technical product you write the technical details so that if anybody wants to purchase he or she can understand okay about the products technical de uh, details and also know how to use that particular product and service technical writing basics technical writing requires transparency of expression and therefore a straightforward use of language technical writing requires the recognition of the overall goal prior to beginning a document writer must have knowledge of the intended audience documents must include certain key concepts so that information can be easily understood by the intended readers technical writing is solution based okay solution based regarding any technical products or writing so you must give the solution based what this product usage how it is to be used what particular problem or values you can get out of using this particular product what are the key concepts needed to create an effective technical writing document key concept know the intended audience understand the goal of the document follow the pyramid method of writing use and pyramid method of writing means from slow to slowly develop to the complex okay use an active voice when writing use clear and concise language use illustration to help clarify meaning prepare a draft and then a final copy know your intended audience okay that's you know, fundamental in marketing i uh, know the basics we have we, we know that segmentation targeting and positioning is very very important until unless you know the intended your audience what the target audience you cannot develop the communication okay because it will depend on the background or on the profile okay of understanding of your audience okay the whole communication should be developed then pyramid method of writing outcome or action discussion detail action background and the summary of that language and tone tone is created by the language the writer chooses for the audience tone is used to persuasive tone needs to be suitable of, for the subject an active voice sets a decisive tone language should be specific to the goal or situation of the document language needs to be concise and well defined use language that will be understood by the intended audience use narrative language minimally okay so uh, in case of this uh, technical writing they, you should use a lot of graphs and illustration charts and the uh, note tables pictures diagrams okay then uh, drafts of final copy research your topic like in how this is the draft the first one is the draft then you can make necessary corrections in that do a proofreading of that then you can build it the final okay uh, final uh, this document okay so that's about the technical writing so i have briefly explained the technical writing is for the technical product uh, where you uh, know we need to give the technical details of the products okay and its uses and how this particular product can solve a particular problem 
and herein we should have the technical knowledge to write the content little bit about the product is you no know, uh, is uh, technology it uses all the stuff then we should follow a particular procedure the pyramid structure we should use graphs charts okay or uh, a mode of graphs charts and the illustrations first you now we should make draft of the technical communications how is the product what is the technical features how it should be used what kind of problem it address in case of any technical issues please feedback okay or dial so and so number like that you no know, if we uh, get one purchase one mobile we get one uh, no uh, we get one small booklet kind of thing but that's technical communications okay how the mobile is with the manufacturer technical details okay how to operate that particular mobile in case of problem how we should reach out if we purchase a freeze we get it if we purchase television at home we get technical communications so this many manuals small booklets flyers okay it can take any format but those are highly very very structured and very nicely written so that the buyer and user don't have any problem when they buy any technical product okay and they can read it and by and large those things can give solutions and uh, even beyond any particular problem is not addressed we can always call back to the sales uh, no engineer or technical engineer of that company and get it sorted out sorted out okay so those support systems that post purchase you know sell uh, support systems are always given for you no know, technical products because uh, you know maybe there may be sometimes some kind of problems you know generally it happens so uh, uh see today uh, what are the uh, you no know, three topics we have touched up and we have uncovered i'll say uh, uh, number one is the affiliate marketing and why affiliate marketing is so popular uh, no and uh, it's free of cost there is no payment for joining it and uh, you can always try and join that and uh, there is a merchant those who are retailers and the publishers those are known as affiliate like if i and you want to become uh, you know an affiliate marketer then we can take the link or the banner from the merchant and uh, publish it uh, you know in our website and blog wherever we have good traffic and if there is any conversion so against our id uh, from the cash memory okay automatically they get to know that from which particular id the product is sold so as per their description and the details given out okay so we get, get the payout is done and it's a very clear kind of thing a lot of people and smart people they earn money and uh, from this affiliate program the second is the content content is the king okay in digital marketing whether it is audio video or 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 written okay on social media whatever we do it we need to develop a content right so content why we develop certain things we need to keep in mind how to develop the content okay it should be very simple from simple to complex okay it should have headings sub heading okay we should know the target audience we should use some jargon okay good jargon to catch the attention of the people okay so some of the no, and and we should do a lot of newspaper magazines and you no know, business newspaper so that we develop you uh, know some of the you no know, no basic stuff about you uh, know writing and some uh, vocabulary strong uh, vocabulary we develop okay that's that, that that's needed Uh, no that's what you will find out that a lot of uh, you no know, graduates uh, in english literature they get good job for content development and most digital and all digital companies they have the content developer okay content developer and this is a very highly paid jobs because they are the expertise in creating a particular content okay then comes your uh, technical writing and special technical writing for you uh, know any technical products and gadgets okay uh, like uh, as i said that uh, you purchase uh, uh mobile it may be a manual it may be small booklet maybe flyer we purchase uh, freeze or television we get some manuals along with that how to operate it or in case of any problem whom to reach out all technical details out given out there so that also need some stand no some knowledge about the product no some uh, no experience about writing how it is to be written you can refer any uh, uh, all of you uh, no have smartphone you have purchased mobile phone so you can just look at it the manual how they have developed it how nicely very crispy to the point very specific no unnecessary stuff and very you uh, know uh, there's a good flow of that and it's very simple na uh, so that's the you know uh, efficiency of any good uh, you no know, technical writer and uh, so that is fundamentally with this you know three concepts with this three concepts and uh, today uh, no uh, we cover 
uh, all the topics which are given as a part of uh, digital marketing certification program and as i said in the last uh, session also that uh, if you have uh, no any doubts any questions or anything so you are most welcome to mail me and definitely i'll get back to you and all the ppts whatever i have already given out the soft copy of the handouts on digital marketing and ppt is also i'm sharing so today's ppt also i'll share to ma'am ma'am will pass on to you people uh, and uh, any questions any doubts so most welcome okay at any point of time say so learning continues and i understand that uh, digital marketing today is a vast subject there is no end to end every day there's any new concepts are coming as new technologies are come, coming is it not so it's a continuous process but the fundamental things the fundamental concepts we should get mastery on that then always we can build it up okay we can build it up so that is the main but we have tried to cover up uh, you know uh, most of the topics uh, you know important uh, topics like you know we started with digital marketing uh the no fundamentals so we need it the importance the essence and the growth the email marketing display advertising we spoke on google adwords blogging google analytics mobile marketing search engine optimization affiliate marketing social media marketing then uh, no today we spoke about no affiliate marketing content writing and technical writing the study notes already given to you all ppts are shared to you and this video uh, no will be uploaded in our youtube uh, uh, no mtc global headquarter channel i'm sure that uh, means all of you must have you no know, seen that all the sessions i'm you no know, uploading there so that for your future reference always you can go there and listen to it and you can develop to it so uh, thank you so much uh, uh, that today uh, you no know, from my side uh, no i uh, no just stop here okay i will not say that i conclude the session because learning continues i stop here as uh, the program is time bound program and i open up this platform uh, to listen to you you can add on you can share your views and uh, you can ask any questions uh, uh, thank you so much please go ahead what all you came across it was a very good uh, session which we had and also we learned many things like affiliate marketing and email invitation and about uh, what are the things which we, we which we wasn't knowing about before and when we came to the classes we have learned many things and i have learned like you know uh, coming with a new things like how we need to do how we need to present it uh, how should be in the in the way like as you said blogging and everything many things we have learned and also it was very uh, important to know like what was the things and how it it, it just meant like it was good sir and we learned many things in this class and thank you for uh, guiding us in a good way and we also gained some knowledge from this uh, class sir thank you so much uh, thank you akila thank you so much for your uh, this uh, you developed that email marketing uh, know that uh, uh, flyers then for your college faced okay it was wonderfully done and thank you so much for your active participation and your feedback anybody else thank wants you, to sir. say something thank you akila all the very best good afternoon sir yes, this is yes. munawar jahan yeah yeah thank you for providing us uh, uh, like uh, topics which we did not dealt with and thank you for our lecture professors kavita ma'am and shayad ma'am for giving us this opportunity to learn new things which will thank help uh, us in uh, our future sir thank you munwar you did so well in the self assessment test okay and most of the test you scored uh, cent percent i think thank you, you sir <laughs> well done very good very good thank you sir thank you thank you okay uh, thank you so much so we have come to the end of uh, this certification program i once again uh, extend my heartfelt thanks to bitm management uh, the dean uh, the principal and hod of mba department and the faculty members of mba department for the no uh, this certification program for having organized this certification program from mtc global this is i think the third time we have been doing it for uh, no the prestigious uh, uh, this uh, bitm uh, for their mba students and uh, we find a lot of satisfaction okay uh, to engage with the students because uh, no uh, once we did it uh, physically i visited there and interacted with all of you 
it's always wonderful hospitality and fantastic campus and uh, very good and uh, you know brilliant students and thank you so much for all of your support and the patience and the interaction i personally thank dr saida ma'am and kavita ma'am for their presence in all the sessions and uh, to officially start the program and close the program uh, it shows the interest it shows the interest they are taking for you know your betterment and that's something i must uh, you know acknowledge and thank you saida ma'am thank you kavita ma'am thank, uh, thank you all the students thank you sir thank you so much ma'am please On you can call off bitm uh, management of bitm mba department and my uh, my dear uh, friends and uh, my student friends i really uh, feel that a heartful thanks for being the resource person for this uh, digital marketing course sir shortly we are expecting i mean along with my students i am expecting my the certification so students don't worry shortly your certification with the photo on the certificate will be issued for you all and in nearby future in case if you have any clarifications i am always there at the same time if you need any sort of help from sir in terms of job in terms of interviews in terms of any other professional help sir is always there you can just drop a mail and requesting for your uh, queries then sir is always there for the student community and fraternity to sort out the issues thank you sir for being thank you ma'am thank, thank you so much, much. thank, thank you. you sir ma'am and once again thank you all students thank you thank you thank you sir thank you students